Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys. So I already went ahead and shuffled the cards and I was meditating a moment ago. And as the overall energy, we got be bold and make the first move. I feel like... A lot of the time that we let um, fear and doubt and worry get in the way and I feel w when it's saying here to work through your fears uh, and not let pride get in your way I feel like for some of you you need it's like know when to move forward and know when to pull back. Right now, we have Mars and Aries, which these planets rule these signs. So it puts them in a very powerful position, right? So Mars is in Aries right now. We have the moon in Cancer. We have... Um, Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Uh, we've had we have Venus in Libra, which Venus rules Libra, and then we also have Saturn in Capricorn, and they're all at the same degree. When that happens, when we have four dignified planets in their own natural home sign of cardinal energy, that is saying it's time to take action, it's time to move forward, and it's time to take matters into your own hands. It's time to stop waiting. If that means, you know, it's like starting a war or a lawsuit or whatever this is, is because that's what I'm kind of seeing here I feel like this has something to do with our passion our passion projects and I feel like do not be bullied you know I feel like it's the battle you know you're looking at a Scorpio versus a Leo so in a lot of ways this could actually be what's going on in politics right now as well we have um Biden, who has Scorpio in his chart, and we have Trump, who's a Leo rising as well. So with that said, it's the battle of the of the wills. You know, you've got a scorpion and a lion. Which one's going to win? They're both very painful, and they're both deadly. So it's like, you know, they're both like... <laughs> The stinger's coming out, but I'm going to tell you that secrets are going to come alive and the real, like the, the reality, because, and I say secrets because Scorpio rules secrets and secrets are going to come out. And I feel like it's about a lot of things. And for some of, some of you, this could have a lot to do with prison too, because with Pisces, it's about, but it's also about, um, not just prison, actual prison, but yes, that too, but like mental prison. And when I'm looking at it right next to the Scorpio, Scorpio, this is very dark energy. This is like mental institution energy, okay? When I look at that, and it's like if people were really looking, they would see that as well, okay? They would see that. And it's like, you know, Leo is kind of like that celebrity energy. So it's like all spotlight on you because it's ruled by the sun. Mm -hmm. And so the sun is the illuminary here. Out of all these cards, the sun is the illumination, So when it talks about being bold and making the first move, it says now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This cardinal or this card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, of ta instead take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go speak up for what you want if you're serious about sorting things out you may need to take the lead in some way to step up as a leader so you know if this is you wanting to go towards that job show the world the real you if this is you want and, and be bold and make the mood towards it if this is you wanting to start a family talk to your partner about it work through your fears um, or you know expanding your family work through your fears it's saying you know let let go of the past. Do not let the past hold you back because that's Pisces. Pisces rules the past. That's where that prison can be. And so I feel like you're going to have to work through, you know, having these conversations. And I feel like this could have definitely have to do with children as well. And so it's saying show the world who you truly are. And it's funny that the bookends on either side is Leo and Aquarius. 
Leo is all about the king, the kingdom, right? And, you know, Aquarius is all about the people and the networking to get you there. So I feel like, you know, you're having to, uh, with this cardinal energy, move forward and take a stance and don't worry about these, you know, self-limiting beliefs and that kind of stuff. Also, you know, someone here, pay attention to your child, you know, talk to your children about mental health issues as well. You know, suicide awareness and things like that are definitely something that I see here. And I feel like that is something that all too often, you know, gets lost in the fray. And I feel like somebody has to come out of that uncomfortability and have those discussions with their children because it is a part of life. So in astrology, there are three quadruples quadruplicities, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The cardinal signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Remember, we each have all 12 signs in our chart for different parts of our lives. It's just the way the astrology wheel works. These are the signs that look to get things started and which are the natural leaders. No matter when you draw this card, it's a sign that something new is starting and you quite possibly need to take the lead on it. So it's like you're going to have to like get past whatever fear you have and just no matter what anybody around you is saying because, you know, like I said, it's Aquarius is the other people. Sometimes you have to get past what other people are saying about you and keep moving forward. I know for me, you know, I've had my name drugged through the mud. I've had people try and bring my past into it. And the first things first is I will always stand up and admit to my shortcomings in the past. But what I will tell you is that was a whole nother life. And where I am right now, I have grown past, you know, all of these things. And so when somebody talks about me that doesn't know anything about me and hasn't even, they haven't seen me probably in the past month, they probably have no, re no real understanding of who I truly am. And that goes for yourself too. So I really feel like when it comes right down to it, you guys need to work past your fear of what other people are going to say about you. And I feel like it's time for you to take back control of your kingdom and you make whatever moves necessary to get to where you need to go. And that is what I am strongly being like really urged to tell you. Take back that power and control and put it back in your life and make decisions that are going to be for the good of everyone. Okay. And something like it really doesn't fucking matter what other people think. If you know that what you're doing is for the good of everyone, then so fucking be it. You live your life. You have your path. I live my life. I have my path. And that goes for everybody in this world. We all have one life. Live it. You know, and you'll do so victoriously. And this situation is going to end. People see the hard work and dedication. People are celebrating this situation. So they're celebrating this king, so to speak. Okay. And so I do feel like there is an ending that is near. You know, I feel like when I'm looking at these two cards here, because, and then, you know, you have the Aquarius card too here, and this has a lot to do with the heart, but this also has to do with, my nose is going fucking crazy right now, um, so I got a spirit here that's like, yes, thank you for telling <laughs> my story. Um, there's a lot of emotion here. And I think that a lot of people are just swimming in circles around fear. Look at the Pisces. It's like looking at the past and, you know, maybe like seeing the past differently than what it really is. And I feel like if you could really just pay attention, this person is really showing you who they are and they really are here for the people. And I think that the one thing that is the block between this lion and this, uh, the opposite side, it's seventh house, right? Um, is this shit, secrets, lies. It's like, that's the block between, like, if this is somewhere between like a Leo and an Aquarius, you have two people that are standing in the way. You have a Scorpio and a Pisces from keeping you two together. Now that doesn't have to be, you know, I mean, wherever Leo's at in your chart, that's what's standing in the way. If that makes sense to you, that's what I'm getting. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm getting. They're just showing it to me that way. But it's funny because we have two full moons on bookends 
we have, oh, you know what? That's really funny. We have a new moon in Scorpio coming up. So we're really in that energy right now. So I think a lot of your fears are coming up and you're going to have to overcome them. And that maybe that means you need to go and talk to somebody, you know, maybe you need to find somebody in your community because that's what this is all about. Someone who has the heart to sit and listen to what it is that you need to go over. So, you know, I think that for some of you, maybe it's time for you to go back and, and see a counselor, see a, you know, a spiritual guide, a life coach, um, make an appointment. That's what I'm here for. You know, it's one thing to listen to free content all day, but it's another thing to have it personalized just for you, you know, and have your story validated, but at the same time being, you know, able to understand a different perspective. And that's what I'm here for is for you to see things from a new perspective, a higher perspective, right? So you can do things the way you're doing it. Yeah, clarity. Here's the sword, the sword of truth. So this is all about not letting pride get in your way when you listen to, but again, this is also a double-edged sword. But be careful where you're getting your information because I'm going to be honest with you. The, this king, this king, like he really is trying to control his kingdom and he has his sword up and he is willing to fight anyone who is trying to come in and take what he has. And he, that is his fear is somebody else coming in and taking over that throne. And I feel like that's an honorable thing to be just in life. If you look at that, like, you know, it, it, the story of life. Yeah. Like, look at this. This is really childish. The fear is like over the boogeyman. It's like, seriously, look at this child. It's like being afraid of the dark, being afraid of what's in the dark. But I'm going to tell you, when you have this, this is secrets coming out and you have it sitting next to the Ace of Swords. Whatever you hear is the truth. So may, pay attention and you may not like it. It may not come in the way you want it to come in, but whatever it is, it's the truth and it's a harsh truth. Yeah, but it is put here, the meditate and contemplate is because I feel like if you think about it at the end of the day, it's time for you to put down the burden. And that's what this, this information is all about is for you to put it down, put down the heavy load. One more card, Spirit, first show the world the real you. Clarify that for me. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so this could definitely have something to do with Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Does not have to be uh, Jupiter and Mars. Um, but the star, this is all about keeping the faith. This is, you know, show the world the real you. Keep the faith alive. No matter what, even though these th these obstacles are coming up in the middle, like uh, like standing in the middle, this is going to be overcome. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. You guys be prepared for sudden communication. I think that with the tower here as the overall energy, today's energy with be bold and make the first move. I think you guys are going to hear some news today. I think that, you know, whatever's going on in the news and it is going to be sudden information, like crashing information. It is going to be abrupt. It's going to be very challenging, it, but it is to, um, it is to, it is to bring in a truth. It is to bring in clarity. And I feel like it can come in um, by the media because, again, Aquarius rules the media. So you could definitely be hearing something on social media. You could be hearing something on the news. You could be getting an email, a phone call, any one of those things. I feel like there is communication that is coming in. But for some of you, I feel like it is something that is so exciting and it has something to do with a passion project. I feel like it's something that you have been working really hard on. And I think that uh, there is someone here who is here to help you. And maybe even somebody wanting to, your work could be because the wands are all about our work. It's about our creativity, our passions. And I feel like it has something to do with your artistic endeavor as well. Um, but I feel like this information is going to come in sudden. It's going to come in fast, hot. And I feel like you need to jump on it. Listen, if you sit stagnant, like when, you know, you see these two people falling from the tower, yeah? Okay. And you see this sudden burst of like uh, lightning hitting this tower and the tower is going to come down either way. You can either stay in the tower and, and know that your fate has been sealed, right? You go down with the tower or you take the opportunity and jump and there's a huge, you know, there's a possibility you could very well live. You can't tell if there's a trampoline down here and you can't see how far he's going to have to fall, right? 
So at least he jumped. So what I want to say is jump on it. Be bold. Make the first move. Jump. Um, it's a cardinal moon. Cardinals say take action. It's and you know when I'm seeing the sword here, it's like cutting through the BS. It's like really saying like you know I know that this is very scary, but I feel like this is what I need to do. And you know um, I feel like your hopes, wishes, and dreams are definitely going to come through at the end. And I do feel like this heavy burden that people have been carrying is about ready to be put down. Uh, I really like this energy for you guys. I really like this energy for you guys a lot. This is a very important message. And I feel like, you know, um, yeah, you guys have to trust the process. Okay. Underneath the don't let your pride get in the way and the ace of swords, you have trust. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith that everything is going to work out. Have faith that people are going to see and, and, and hear the truth and people will make their own judgments based off of that and it may be scary because the boogeyman is coming out and I think that for some of you it's going to come out with no cooth. I really just don't see any cooth. Please spirit, please show me November 6th for their love life. And this could be love of your pet, love of your dog, love of your job, love of your whatever, you know, significant other, partner, uh, family, friend, you know, um, put it where it fits. Reconciliation. Someone here is wanting a reconciliation. Someone here is wanting to talk to you. And it could be someone that is younger than you or maybe just younger in life experience. And I think that this person is really afraid. And I feel like, okay, when it says meditate and contemplate, it says let go of control issues, allow this situation unfold naturally. I feel like someone here has just dug their heels in and is like wanting to carry this burden. And I feel like, you know, they have to understand that they can't control it. It has to flow naturally is what the meditate and contemplate the Pisces card. So it's the two fish. One more card, Spirit, please show me one more card for the, the star and show the world the real you. Yeah, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? And it's like, you know, you and, yeah, true love. Some of you are going to get hit by sudden true love. You're going to be in the grocery store and boom, you're going to look up and it's going to be the, the the person that you are absolutely in love with or it's just going to be like this sudden epiphany of like true love and romance. And I feel like, you know, trust this situation, okay? I feel like you're going to have to let go of control issues. Maybe I'm hoping that this is saying that you're going to put down the control. You're going to let go, release. Um, I feel like someone here, you know, because there is... Um, um, I feel like this could be the romance of a lifetime and that's what it's saying here it's like this sudden realization sudden epiphany even even if you don't run out and tell the person but I feel like there's going to be some um, maybe uh, um, communication that comes up it's like hey how are you you know and this person is wanting is it's like trying to overcome so what I want to say is um, because this person is coming in as a page um, I think that they are trying to follow their heart and I feel like um, what's happening is they are wanting to let the past go and you're their wish fulfillment I feel like you're what they really want. I think that this person has really thought about this situation. Um, and I feel like whatever is coming out, you have to trust that. And you have to trust your own intuition, okay? That's what you have to do. But you really need to look at things from all different perspectives as well. And I think that, you know, give it some time, you know, um, and, and really think about the situation, you know, before you make a decision on, you know, I feel like the, the, the communication is going to come in and then it's going to be up to you. And I feel like what you're going to really kind of being asked to do too is rely on your faith. Rely on your faith. But whatever is happening today, it is destined to happen. And it's because when the tower comes in, it's things needed to get shook up. Like your cage needed to be rattled because the universe is saying like, you know, with the, with the Leo card here, Leo is all about the about true love and romance. This is about the romance of a lifetime. This is about, you know, your heart being fulfilled. Leo rules the heart. It's saying stop listening to what other people are telling you, the Aquarius. Show the world the real you. 
and show the world your true heart. So if there's someone here that you love, whether that's you're estranged for someone, or you know whether that's a family member, a friend, uh, a, you know, a, a, whoever this person is, really look at the situation and decide on whether or not it's time for you to reconcile your differences. Like how long do you want to keep the war going? But somebody here needs to acknowledge uh, the situation. And I feel like what it is, too, is it's fear of talking about it. I think that someone here has a fear of, you know, that, that they're not going to be accepted. But I feel like what I want to say to you guys is the feelings are mutual. So whatever that means for you. I think that someone here wants to overcome difficulty with you. So... Whatever this is, you guys, I feel like this is definitely beautiful energy. Um, you know, as far as everything else, you know, pay attention. You know, pay attention to your intuition. Again, ask yourself, are you wanting to go back into circles? And, you know, listen, if this situation was terrible and this person made you feel like shit um, and this person hasn't changed in the least bit and they take no acknowledgement and they're egoistic because that's the, you know, negative side of the Scorpio, the Leo, is this person has no trust. This person has is very egoistic and they you know they're just reconciling with you to you know to appease someone else you know um, really look at that situation but in the meantime it is saying here like let go of the control issues um, you know and really look at the situation and and make a fair and just decision so uh, I feel like at the end of the day whatever decision you make is for the right one for you and I feel like um, you know being vulnerable at is like you see how the the nudity in both of these right see she's bearing all so i feel like you just need to to wear your heart on your sleeve and bear all and say you know say what you mean and mean what you say and i feel like someone's coming in and because they can't hold it in any longer so i i whoever this is for i feel like this is really beautiful um i'm so happy for you uh good luck on all of this and uh, my well wishes. You guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, uh, check the description box. TheFootstepsToPeace.com is my email address, and I look forward to seeing you right after this. Take care.